and the Atlantis chance oh, yeah, they, they could beat mighty Michigan State. If they're going to do it today, they were going to do it behind this guy, Evan Eschmeyer, their sixth year senior. He exploded in the second half, getting the roll here on the baseline hook, draining the baby hook in the lane. Working for position here, another baseline hook goes down, swishing in another baby hook. The Wildcats, and the crowd was there too, 57 to 56. Eschmeyer, 30 points, 20 of those in the second half. The Spartans don't crumble though, less than two, down by three. Morris Peterson shot only two for seven, but he has to nail this three, and he ties the game at 59. Still tied at 59, Michigan State, their top seed may be hanging in the balance. Who do you give it to? Mateen Cleaves. Stayed up by a deuce. Mateen Cleaves only six in this game. Northwestern down to David Newman drives. Antonio Smith says no. Steve Laporte with a rebound. A desperation three at the buzzer. Oh, they worked for it today, and that is what March is all about. Michigan State, 61 to 59. And so they get their 16th straight victory just barely. Mateen Cleaves was on his career in the United Center. Seven for 44 shooting until that winning shot. The Spartans gulp, and they move on against the winner of Iowa and Wisconsin. Iowa leading in the first half, and watch Jess settles in the low post. Quick shovel to J.R. Koch. Yeah, Hawkeyes by two at halftime. Dick Bennett appears to have a lot on his mind. It's not all pleasant, but now he's watching Charlie Wills with a high percentage shot. The heaven view. Then Sean Mason for the three. He had 22 on the game. Ty Calderwood also. On range for the three, Wisconsin opens the second half with 11 straight shots. And they all go down as Wisconsin down by one. 9.30 left in the second half. John Bryant hits a three in Wisconsin. A lead they would never relinquish. And Tom Davis, his last Big Ten conference game. Final was 74 to 60. Iowa held to four field goals in the last 11 minutes. C stage, Damon Thornton tipping it home into Wake Forest basket. I don't believe what I just did. But NC State used the offensive glass to come back. Thornton making amends, this time putting it into his own basket. NC State down by six, would tie it at 27 at the half. Here's more Thornton in the second half, off the miss, and the tip. 33-32, NC State, their first lead of the game, and Kenny Inge with the, the miss, but Anthony Grundy there for the tip in. Bad day for Robert O'Kelly, held at just five points. North Carolina State cruises by 14. The Wolfpack, who lost to the Demon Deacons, Time went over Clemson against number two seed Maryland. Steve Francis goes for the baseline. Another one of his wild shots. How about that? Terps led by 12. And Florida State Steve Robinson can't believe what he just saw. Second half, Maryland rolling. Laron Prophet forcing the turnover, and he goes all the way. Seminoles had 23 turnovers. Prophet soars to two of his game high 21. Maryland wins easily 93 69. Along with 21 points, Prophet. Round mound of rebound led the Tigers to the title. This year, Auburn, of course, led by the SEC Player of the Year, Chris Porter, who leads his team with 16 and a half points and nine rebounds per game. Their opponent, the arch rivals of Alabama, the Crimson Tide. Back on the floor later in the half. Early in the first half, Chris Porter. Before he got number Watch three. Porter. Move to the hoop. Well, doing their layup lines tonight. Oh, wow. Look at that. Porter up and over. Auburn would lead by five Porter, at the half. How about that? Second half, seat. Auburn dominated the boards. Porter ripping yeah, down the hard. offensive Ready. rebound. And then he'll step behind the three-point arc. Thank you very much. Auburn, 20-9 to nine off the offensive glass. More Porter. Nice pass from Doc Robinson. Porter's going to be some kind of pro, isn't he? Auburn led by 16 at that point. Alabama sloppy. 25 turnovers. Here's one of them. Brian Smith with the easy two points, and Mark Godfrey has seen enough. Thank you. Auburn wins it easily. 93-61. Tigers improve their record to 27-2. and two. Porter, 22 points. Auburn out-rebounded Alabama on the offensive end, 20-9, forcing 25 Crimson Tide turnovers. Auburn's going to play the winner of the Kentucky-Mississippi game tomorrow. The Tigers advance to the SEC semifinals for the first time since 1991. Mississippi State off an easy win at Vanderbilt against a much tougher test against Tennessee. This is Dietrich White. And Tyrone Washington finishing it off. Mississippi State leading by three. Later in the second half, Tennessee trails by four. Vincent Yarborough hits the three. Mississippi State would pull away as Washington will hit the little turnaround jumper from 10 feet. Mississippi State leads by five. With a half a minute to go, Washington's shot bounces off the rim a couple of times and then rolls home. 
Washington finishes with 19. Mississippi State with the big upset, 62-56. Dietrich White added 15. Why the Tennessee upset? Simple. They shot just four for 29 from behind the arc. The Vols backcourt tandem of Tony Harris and Brandon Wharton shot a combined six out of 30. Of Colorado from the right from the top price was left. He was six for six behind the arc. Colorado, though, still down 10 at the intermission. Texas, do not get in the way of Chris Clack. Just don't get in his way. Texas up by 15. Later in the second half, he goes for the rebound. Clack comes crashing down. Meanwhile, at the other end of the floor, Kenny Price cuts it down to a five-point game. Black a little bit shaken up. He was able to return to the game. Colorado nails it down to a four-point game, but Clack big pickup there of the miss and puts it back. The putback gives him 14 on the day. Texas wins it. 82-76, 24 for Chris Mim. The Longhorns get 56 and 28 boards from their front court. Kenny Price, three-point shooting, but outside the arc, the Buffaloes only 10 for 38. Texas meets the winner of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, and Kansas City. That game, second half, under five. The Cowboys up three. Glendon Alexander drills the three. His sixth three of the day. Oak State up by six. They're up by three with 11 and a half to go. Doug Gottlieb praying for a spot. And the tournament, and Alex Weber could have iced the game on a second free throw, but no, the rebound. Michael Johnson gets one moving pick, doesn't get a screen on that side. That's for the tie, and that is not going to go. Oklahoma State, 60-57, to 57, and now the Sooners could be, well, that bubble could be bursting. But he was actually breaking a cardinal rule, looking ahead past that night's opponent, Villanova, who Q's ended up beating in a double-double for Thomas, says Eton. We didn't want Seton Hall to win. We wanted UConn. We want to play them again. So five days after the Huskies dropped them by 12, Hughes gets its wish. First half, E.J. Harrison with the steal to Kevin Freeman to Rochelle Jones. Top of the food chain. Jones at 8, UConn an 18-3 run. More problems for the Orange. Down 14, Suleiman Juan. I got your Juan hanging. Big block to Edmund Saunders, who feeds Jones for the lay-in and foul. Part of an 11-0 run. Jim Calhoun said Syracuse just could not match it. Second half, it got worse. Tony Bland does his Romaro, Romario, Babeto, soccer thing. One of 15 Q's turnovers. UConn up 19. Khaled Elamin, the lob to Kevin Freeman. Not a player, he just crushes a lot. Freeman at 21. UConn wins by 21. Rip Hamilton at 17. Top. A three-game win streak would mean counting 12th-ranked Ohio State as one of their victims. Quarterfinal action from Chicago. First half, Michigan came out strong off the Ohio State miss. Lewis Bullock the other way. Wolverines only trail by three at the break. And here we go, second half. Ohio State would take control. Boban Savovich, coast to coast. Nice move with a layup. Buckeyes up 12. Then some more showtime for Ohio State. Scooty Penn on the break. Al to Ken Johnson. Ohio State pumped up. But of course, then there's the other side of it. The senior Bullock. Near tears. He's his last game end in defeat. 87-69. 12th ranked Ohio State. Seeing Ole Miss. Tubby Smith saying defense is important. He said that or he said go to class. So turning your term papers on. You know, we don't know what Tubby said, do we? But we do know that the Cats had eight block shots in the first half. Second half, more Cats. Wayne Turner calls for the three and tickles the twine. Cats 10 of 19 from three land and then Turner as cool as the other side of the pillow. He was four or five from three land, 24 points. Kentucky wins at 83-73. Turner's 24. In Georgia Tech in the quarters. UNC up seven at the break. Ed Cota misses the jumper in the paint, but big fella Brendan Haywood cleaning up the mess and ripping down the rim. Haywood had 13 points, heels out rebounded Tech 39-27. Georgia Tech comes back. Jason Collier getting his three groove on. He had 17 jackets within one, but then North Carolina blows it up. Coda on the break. Chris Lang rocking the oop. Lang had 11 points, heels on a 23 to 2 run. And then Coda pops out the three. Ooh, Poppy, I did not know you could do it like that. 14 points, nine assists for the Coda floater. Bobby Crimmins needed a hug. Carolina wins it 78 to 49. <laughs> yeah, that was the last time Lafayette made it to the big dance, 57. Jake Ramage from three on the ensuing inbounds, Tyson Whitfield. This guy's banking at the buzzer, and they're open. Lafayette down two at the break. Here we go, under 30 seconds left. Bucknell is down five. Walter Karanovich hits the three. Bucknell within two. After two Lafayette free throws, Bucknell again down four. Willie Callahan rejected. Brian Allers the rebound. He's fouled. Celebration begins. Lafayette advances to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 57. Island, George Washington, first half. 
26-14. Andre Sola misses the three. Ed, Ed Brown to Lamar Odom to Tavoris Bell. Straight butter. Odom, 17.7 rebounds, a 6'10 kid, has all kinds of tools. Check out this pass. Five foot four inch Shanta Rogers misses a three. Odom with a bullet pass. Did I tell you he was 6'10? To Preston Murphy, 11 assists for Odom. Rhode Island wins it 94 to 7. In the semis on Friday, Miami tried to make it three wins in three meetings with St. John's this season. To Madison Square Garden, Hurricanes meeting Red Storm pictures. Second half, St. John's up by six, ten minutes to go. Ron Artest missing the bank shot, but LeVar Postel there for the crusher. Part of a 16-5 Red Storm run, Mike Jarvis pumped. 3.45 left, St. John's by six. Tyrone Grant rejected by Tim James. On the break come the Canes, Mario Bland there to finish with the lay and he had eight canes down just four 56 52 over two minutes to play Johnny's by two Eric Barkley good time for a three one of only two field goals for him on the night Red Storm up by five Miami one more chance Vernon Jennings slips gets it away to Johnny Hemsley but he is stripped by Barkley and that would be the difference Miami suffering the loss 62 59 the Canes dream season is over at least until the bids Two early fouls, but another freshman stepping up. Lucas Johnson had kind of a quiet season, but hits the three there. Ten points in the first half. Alana up four at the break. Second half, it's Bradford into the lane, and then the pull-up three. He had 15. Alana up by 10. And then oh, we've got controversy after the play. Johnson, Luke Recker tangling. No foul call there, but there was a double foul called here a little bit later. Recker picked up his fourth foul minutes later. Just seven points for him. He had to sit. Just over six minutes left. Illini pulling away Sergio McLean. He had 13. Illinois pulling off the shocker. Eight. When first half winding down, Kendrick Smith for three at the buzzer. 49ers by seven at the break. Second half, Bearcats have cut it to two. Steve Logan misses. Kenyon Martin does it. Ten points, nine boards for him. That ties it at 49. 30 seconds left. 49ers down one. Galen Young. Into the lane and off glass. He had 10 points, 10 boards. Charlotte up by one. Less than 10 seconds left. Melvin Levitt. Just three of 13 from the field. Young the rebound and Lutz is enthused. As UNC Charlotte upends the defending champs in this tourney, 55-52. We would say the Bearcats shot themselves in the foot, but they probably would have missed. 36% from the field, one of 17 behind the arc. The key to beating the Bearcats, slowing the tempo. They've scored 60 points or fewer in all five of their losses. UAB and Louisville in the other semi. First half, tied at 28. Kevin Smiley to Eric Johnson. Louisville by eight at the half. Second half, more Cardinals. Keep your eye on Marcus Mabin. That's Marcus in the spot shadow. Exciting things always seem to happen in the spot shadow. We're beginning to think it's no coincidence. He gets the deuce, 11 for him. Louisville up by eight. Blazers trying to spark a comeback. Fred Williams on the break. Nate Johnson says, how dare you. Johnson finished with a game-high 18. Later in the second, it's Mabin. The long three. Cardinals by nine. They would never look back. It'll be Louisville and North Carolina Charlotte battling for... Saw and Florida under 40 seconds to go. Tied at 71. Kareem Reed penetrates, spins, and banks one in. Arkansas leading by two after a couple of free throws. Hogs by four at the other end. Five seconds to go. Kenyon Weeks... Feeling it. Florida's within one. Less than three seconds to play. Reed missing two straight free throws. And Brent Wright's final attempt is way short. The Hogs advance to the semis. 75 to 74, the final. Something of a shocker is the Huskers barely broke a sweat in their opening round over Texas Tech, a game in which the Red Raiders committed more turnovers in the first half than they attempted shots. Still, Nebraska gave Kansas cause for concern, said Jayhawks guard Ryan Robertson. They have that funky defense that causes us problems. Not that you would know from the first game. The Big 12 tourney in Kansas City. Second half, Kansas by nine. Shot clock winding down. Kenny Gregory feeling it. He had 15. Kansas up by 12, 50 to 38. Later in the half, Nick Bradford knocking it away from Larry Florence. Let's all run the other way together. Gregory finishing with the layup. 59-40, Kansas part of a 24 to 4 KU run. More of the defense, Jeff Boshi with the steal. And takes it all the way. The Super Frosh with 16 points. Nebraska commits 27 turnovers. Kansas wins 77 to 53 as the Jayhawks avoid that season sweep. 27 turnovers, by the way. Half K State up by 10, and Paco May hits the jumper. Yeah, 
May had 18. Kansas State 63, 65, 53 leaders. Mizzou tries to come back. John Woods, his second three in a row. The lead is cut to five. Less than a minute to play. May getting the ball to Manny Dyes. You got a lead, follow, or get out of the way. Dyes had 18. Kansas State going on to win 84 to 74. Dyes with 18 for the Wildcats. Mizzou shot 24% in the first half. Championship week continues with the whack. Eighth ranked Utah taking on Tulsa. 10 seconds left. Tulsa down two with the ball. Greg Harrington, the jumper, game tied at 55. We go to overtime. In the OT, Utah down three. Heno Medola. A huge three. Game tied at 60. Utah by two. And it's Andre Miller finding Alex Jensen. Dunk me. Utah goes on to win by three in the OT as the Utes escape with their 21st straight win. Tulsa becomes the first team to out-rebound Utah during SMU. Kenny Thomas out with a groin injury. A close game late. New Mexico with the ball on the break. John Robinson to Greg Davis, who takes it and takes it strong. Lobo's up by six. SMU trying to come back under 25 seconds left. Stephen Woods all day. Mustangs down four. Coach Mike DeMent calling timeout as he did so well while at Cornell. SMU gets the ball back. 3.8 seconds left. Chad Elsie knocks down the three, but it's too little, too late. The clock, not the friend. The Lobos hang on. 57 to 56. The final SMU finishing 15 and 15 as New Mexico advances to their second straight. The top seed in the Big Sky Conference. Take it on Montana State. It's all Eddie Gill all the time. Gill knocks down a three. Gill knocks down a three. I said... Gill knocking down threes from everywhere. The Weber State fans were really enjoying it. His first name is Eddie. He had six three-pointers. North Carolina A&T second half. Vashon Murphy pushing Arthur Carlisle into the scorer's table. And Carlisle, well, he has some not-so-pleasant thoughts. Late second, South Carolina State down one. John Shivers misses. Dexter Hall misses, gets his own board, and the foul. Hall's only hoop, but it was huge. Bulldogs by two. Jonathan Richmond for the tie, no. And the Aggies lose a tough one. The Bulldogs taking it by three. They out-rebound. Alcorn State and four-seed Mississippi Valley State. Marcus Fleming fakes out the D, keeps it, and jams it. Who's your daddy? Fleming had 17. To the second half, the big fella, Chad Slaughter. The offensive board and the putback. Alcorn State on top, 56-45. Later in the game, it's Ruben Stiff with the pass inside. Terrence Cameron, the 360 reverse. That's pretty. Davey Whitney's Braves take down Mississippi Valley State. 73-61 is the final.